All right, we are getting up to get down. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Patrick Michael Strange. This is the new release Wednesday show where we give you the N.E.W. from the N.R.W. You like that, right, Mac? I love that. Love it a lot. I got my boy, Matt Glenn Lawrence McDonald in the house. It's cracking. And when we're here at the amazing comic shop in Fairfax, Virginia, you know we got to have Heather Vanderhurt. Did I do it right? Yeah, you did it right. I had to do the whole, since I did the whole, you know, we did That's the right. first middle thing last night. I don't know if you like us doing that. Or no, so, so Are you okay cool. with that? If it's, not gonna e- if it's easier to look me, me up, it's, it's, it's Heather Hurt. Uh, it's, Heather it's easier to remember. Heather, Heather Hurt. Hurt. I, you know what? I like that more, though, too. Heather Hurt. Heather Hurt. Yeah. Heather's going to put the hurt. You know what? The, I've been saying this for like a long time. Hurt people hurt people. Um, now, <laughs> now, now, now we go in deep. Now we go in deep. Now we go in deep. Bring it back. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. I'm sorry. All right, people. It's March 7th. What have we been doing since the last time we were at Amazing Comic Shop? What have y'all been up to? You've been killing it on the stage, man. Yeah, I made Happy this to see your show. Yeah. Um, just doing that. Comedy shows. Uh, watching stuff. Okay. Um, Oscars came out. That, that was all kind of cool. Um, that's about it. Favorites, did you, were you excited? Any big moment that you guys were a big Shape fan? of Water? Yes. Our, 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 uh, our water boy friends. Our water, our fish boy friend. Definitely yes, won love some. the fish boys. <laughs> but, and, uh, but it was great because uh, Del Toro also won for Best best Director. Woo-hoo. Yes. Um, mm. But it's uh, the greatest thing I saw online. It's uh, it's one of, one of my friends was like, isn't it great that uh, the guy who wrote, or that uh, Del Toro won Best Picture for his uh, oh, what is it? What did he say? Um, oh crap! Crap! I just forgot it. A Shit. romance story. No, love it's story. Um, oh, the story of Abe Sapien. No, no, it's uh, the Abe Sapien fanfic. Ah, that's true. <laughs> it's, it's for the Abe but it makes you a splash. Fan. Yeah, exactly. So sorry, I totally <laughs> lost that. Tot- I'm not. The, I'm not the comedian, guys. Oh. Um, but it's uh, really. Peel winning oh, oh. for best screenplay. Yeah. Jordan Peel, get out. That was that was my boy. That's my boy, man. I tuned in right at that moment. Perfect timing. Excited, and you could see, you know that, you know, I think for a lot of us, it's POCs. Him finally winning first time an African American uh, winner of the screenplay. Adapted screenplay. Yeah, yeah. Was it adapt? Yeah, adapted, adapted screenplay. Adapted. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Original. Adapted. It's original. It's original. It's original. It's original. Oh, that's yeah, it's original. original. Correction. Because he didn't adapt it from shit. Adapted. He wrote that shit. Yeah, he wrote that. Um, there's another Ooh, adapted screenplay that was. Oh no, I was reading something about Black Panther might get the first adapted screenplay next oh. year. So that's looking forward. So we'll oh, so many wait. fingers but, crossed. But, but back to Jordan Peele. Awesome. Yeah. No, I love it to see a comedian do something dramatic. Hell because yeah. Because a lot of times they'll discount you totally. and say that you know not intelligent. Da 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 da. Super intelligent movie. Hell yeah. Also had some humor in it, but really spoke to the generation right now. Yes. And it, and it was poignant and said something. And I really like seeing that uh, being reward, rewarded. Yeah. Well, yes. it's one thing going back to the Black Panther thing, guys. Black Panther was in 2018. Please stop crying about it not getting Oscars. Next year, it will win everything. <laughs> Keep crying yeah. about it so it gets next year. But yeah. let everybody get their shine this year. Yeah, this, this yeah, year yeah, this yeah. year is our last, this year was last year. 2018 is when Black Panther is going to win everything, guys. Yeah, yeah. And I also want to add, don't get mad. Uh, my two big films, well, actually I had three. Three Billboards, Shape of Water, and Get Out. Mm-hmm. Uh, either of those three ones awards, one awards, I'm I'm happy. Um, and for the best picture, to me, Shape of the Water was my top. I, I and, but Get Out, it, you know, it, it was right. I could have been either or with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but don't get mad about the. You know, why did this film win that film? Did you see the other films? The, the I hate sure. it when people says, you know, this film should have won this over this film. But did you see the other films? The, yeah. the content, you know, the, there have, the, don't hate on the other be, films if you can see it. To be fair, though. There have been some years where there have been some crap contenders. Oh, I'm on, with you. But this year was true. The, the films this year yeah. were real contenders. Definitely. The only thing that needs to be said is the Ac- Academy. Y'all need to you know clean some house because true. when your old white dudes are saying they don't even want to watch one of the films, yes, fuck y'all. Tell it. Tell I've, it. I've been you know, I'm, but it's one of those where it's like other than that, there were um, because I have a lot of friends who uh, who love Get Out. I love Get Out, but it's one of those where it's. The only uh, truly unfair thing that happened this year because there were some really, really good films. Mm-hmm. 
was uh, was the fact that Get Out did not get its due. Oh, of course, it, it deserved more. Yeah. Um, but it's there were some good yeah. movies this year. I think one thing that also hurt Get Out was being out so early. It was a Febu- February release. Uh, yeah. Last year. But it, it that's kept, why I didn't think but, of it. Yeah. When I said you know what I mean? Like when you, when it gets brought up or whatever, it, it it definitely like held its own to actually make it to Oscar. Yeah. Being, being in people's minds that long yeah. because usually top February films have a hard time. Come, come this time of year, totally. but it, it still did it. I still think it was best picture, like you're, like you guys are uh, saying, mm-hmm. or you know, at oh, least in like the top three. one, two with yeah. with uh, Shape of Water. Although I've watched most of Shape of Water, and I thought it was cool, but I I, I did get a feeling of uh, Splash. You guys remember Splash? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. So it was like kind of like I get that feeling, but I can understand. I think yeah. when you can make, when I I think the factors of Shape of Water that kind of gave it the edge was will I watch this again? Get Out and Shape of Water are two, two films I watched again. Yeah. But it, it, but there's like a lot of things in Shape of Water that when I think of who else can I watch it with, Get Out is a specialized audience. I can't watch it with everybody. Really? Yeah. Well, like I can't watch it with my daughter. You know what I'm no. saying? Shape of Water. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Shape of Water can't because there's a lot of. There's oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to teach your daughter? Yeah, like, I don't know. Guys, right? guys, that's that's shape a really of Water. Early is, shape of Water is I not for children. What she it's not for children. <laughs> Why is the egg well, timer going off? You know what? Why she looks so happy going into work? Thinking about it now, I can't break it down. Yeah, it's it's they're both in the same fashion. I don't know. I guess I guess Shape of Water just touched me a little bit more. And I think acting wise, definitely a lot of touching. as a was, <laughs> I forgot the female's name who the the the, the star who loved the loved the fish, but just the fact that she was kind of a mute and really could well she is a mute. Yeah, she couldn't yeah. really talk to be able to, as an actor from from skill to sets wise that. to emote such mm-hmm. you know emotion. Without talking, without using words, I think there was a lot of stuff there that kind of just will, is why it gave me the edge. Yeah. Well, Although uh, Get Out was brilliant, it's it's hand in hand. Well, well, Get Out was original. Oh yeah, as so much. Fuck. Here's yes. what I will say too. I think about the Academy and what they do a lot of times. A lot of times, a period piece, something that took a lot more to create. So they had and to go too. back in yeah. the day so I think and that's like why. the whole yeah. timey television. Yeah, because and, it's a whole bunch of white Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean like, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess that too. But I, I think Sorry, a lot I of times the they give I a give lot of credence, credence to like the set design and stuff for an old fashioned movie <laughs> that they don't necessarily do for like. I, and I think like that's what's helping that, with why I, it's yeah. getting the edge for me in my head. Mm-hmm. When both I when I when you guys break it down and we think about it, yeah. okay, but stacking it stacking it up, I, yeah. Well, there, there's also the statement with when it could because I used to actually be super into the academy, like that was something yeah. that I, I my dream when I was a kid. And I won't deny if I ever got back into it, it's, I always wanted to win an Oscar for makeup, like that was like my goal mm-hmm. in yeah. my life. Um, Shout out to Darkest Hour oh and God, making was... Gary Oldman look like fucking Winston Churchill. I just had to say that because you brought a makeup. Oh, I no. could not. I was like, what? Gary and Winston. What are you so, so it's so it was bad. amazing. Well yay, done. Gary Oldman, by the way. Yay. And, um, yeah. But it's it's one of those where uh, I I lost my train of thought. Makeup. Uh, makeup. 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 Oscars yeah. wanted that. to be in the Academy because it was one of your dreams that you your always goal. wanted. No, it's oh oh it's um, when it comes to when it, so I was talking to my mother about this a long time ago back in the day, and it was so the Academy likes old films, and it, and one of the reasons that you. It, it's it's much easier to play someone who's not who doesn't exist. Yeah, and it's yeah. and I mean and there are a cra- um, crazy there are amazing actors who do amazing work with characters that don't exist. Mm-hmm. But it's so much easier to be an elf in Lord of the Rings yeah. than it is to be Winston Churchill because yeah. you have to be somebody. So that's why yeah. a lot of the times so those historical or slightly historical fiction stories will will make it into those top tiers because gotcha. it's in in theory because acting is hard. Don't let Acting's a hard job, guys. Yeah, and exactly, it's one of those where it's like that's a lot of the reasons why they're they're they do get picked. It's because mm-hmm. you are looking at. I know Shape of Water is a terrible example because it's completely fictionalized, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's it's taking place in a world that um, that that would be looked at by the by the Oscars. Get yeah. out should have been looked at by the Oscars. Yeah, but, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, I I I agree with all. I'm I'm in there. I'm in the boat for that. So before we move on, again, I just want to state though. Unless you've watched, I had to watch because I'm part of the union, SAG after, and I voted on this. Don't just because you only saw one movie say that that one movie's best. You can't just say that if you didn't see the rest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Don't just say if you only saw Get Out. Don't discount everything else. As much as we love Get Out, so good. Don't discount everything else unless you've seen it. Seriously, see mm-hmm. three, billboards. see all the films oh God, before billboards. you then pick. Because then I can't respect your opinion if you didn't see the shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I I did not see all the Oscar movies, uh, so that's a wasn't dissing you. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Saying, I was like, <laughs> don't disrespect everything if you didn't see it. You can't really make a true decision if you didn't see it. Yeah, but you can you can't be upset though. Like I. I, I wanted Shape of Water to win because I honestly believe that it deserved the crap out of that award. But Get Out was definitely my number oh, two yeah. pick. And yeah. it's one of those where it's like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm disappointed that it, that it didn't, one, that it did not get its due, but two, yeah. that it's, well, Get Out would have been a phenomenal Oscar win. Wonder, but here's yeah. the thing that I, I think when I'm looking at movies and, and, I, and I watch them, I think about what does it do to society. Like, oh, I feel yeah. like Get Out had much more of an effect on society totally. than Shape of Water did. Yeah. Shape of Water is a great movie, and it has a lot of great things in there. Yeah. And, and and I think it does have its place, and it does make some change. But Get Out was like a social phenomenon. Like, you totally. have to see this movie. Yeah. And it opened up the dis- Much like Black Panther, it's opened up the discussion about, yeah. you know, the diaspora and all that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I give a lot more credence to something like that. When yeah. I'm when I'm looking at it, but, and, and I, I know we don't want to try to make this super political, and it's but it's one of those things where it's that's one of the reasons that it should have been given its due because mm-hmm. it there, and I'm going to say this from the white person's perspective. I'm white. I'm sorry, but it's one of those where it's like so many white people walked out of that film going, "Oh shit, that shit's real." When the uh, when the academy is not even looking at it in a serious light, mm-hmm. we can't. They can't have those conversations to give it to give it that yeah. opportunity. Yeah. So. I mean, it's yes, it is so real. It is so pertinent. It is mm. so important. Go seek it out if you haven't. Wait, but, it's real? So I should not go visit your parents? Because uh, <laughs> right. uh, no. if that technology is real. Okay, right, right, right. I'm, the the, conversa- the conversation in which real. needs to, well, the conversation that what, in which needs to be had is real. But, like, the, Absolutely. It's, my parents won't kill you. We a whole bunch of Jews. <laughs> we, we we understand. We we're we're terrified. Um, but it's one of those where it's it's that conversation needs to be had, and the only way that you can truly understand what needs to happen is by seeing the movie. The movie. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Um, onward from the Oscars. Anything onward. else happen? Anything going on with you guys since the last time I saw you? Nothing with me. We are. We did uh, set up. I just announced today or oh, yesterday. Oh, yeah. Book Club. Book Club. Um, so Amazing Comic Book Club is going to be Sean Murphy and Mike Miller's Chrononauts, uh, Volume 1, or potentially the only volume ever. Um, uh, I Many of you know that I'm a huge Sean Murphy fan. Um, he is one of my favorite people in comic books. Mark Miller, he's, he's done everything. He's done Kick-Ass. He's done Old Man Logan. He's done every single thing that you can possibly think of. Um, so, and he's not working for Netflix, so yay, Mark. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those where it's, uh, if you want to, it's only $8 at Amazing Comic Shop all month because we do 20% off the book, so that makes it eight doll hairs. You're going to want to check it out, people. Mm. It's t- time travel. It's a lot of fun. Um, other than that, that's that's really it. Oh, yeah. What about you? Uh, uh, what about, yeah, yeah. Going to see this guy and getting ready for a bunch of shows, but we'll I'll bring that up at the end when we talk about our events. So okay. cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, actually, you know, it's, I want to do a real quick transition for those that are brand new coming back to watch New Release Wednesday. Um, usually, the NRW show has our picks episodes as part of the show. We've now separated it out. So go check out Sometimes. our picks. We had picks for this week, people. You want to know what Glenn picked up, what Heather picked up, what I picked up? Go to the picks playlist, the hashtag top three from three, and we'll give you our picks there. So now that we you've checked that out, you want to know what else is happening? What else is your NEW from the NRW this week? I'm going to do it right now. Let's get into what's coming out on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. I'm super excited for this first one. Thor Ragnarok, people, Marvel Studios. You know, oh, I'm ready. Sorry. You know, we just had Black Panther. We're getting ready to Infinity War. I want to go back and check out what happened with Infinity War. Uh, well, with Thor Ragnarok. It was a fun film. And Jeff Goldblum stole the show. Jeff, I want some more he's, Goldblum. He's, he's, so, he's so Jeff Goldblum-y. So we, love Gold you for being, we love you for being Jeff Goldblum. I hope we get some more goldblum in the bonus extended stuff. I, you know that the, supposedly the, has a really good scene where, he's, where, they, where he plays up his bisexualness and he's flirting with men and women and they took it out. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I want Jeff Goldblum flirting with everybody. I want everybody. To see, so hopefully in the bonus scenes we're going to get a little bit You know bit what's of funny? Like, I, like, I, like when you say like Thor Ragnarok, I'm like Hulk smash. It's like, it's actually a Thor movie, so why did you? But I want to see more of Thor. I don't know if they rendered that out because that's you know it's a lot of rendering to get Thor in there. But I want to see more. You mean Hulk? 
Hulk. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I know you're. Really, I was like, why is everyone looking at me crazy? Confused. Is this a crazy thing I'm saying? There's too much. I more. want to see more Hulk yeah. in the in the uh, deleted scenes. I yeah. want to see that in the in the thing and bloopers because they look like they oh, had a yeah. lot of fun on that set. So when Blu-ray DVDs come out after we we because we, we all rush to see it in the theaters, is that yeah. what you look forward to when it comes out on Blu-ray? The bonus scenes, the deleted scenes. Yes. Is that what you're excited yeah. about? I went when through Spider-Man: Homecoming and watched every. It's like another whole hour and a half experience. Yeah, experience or whatever after. After the fact, and I really want to see that for Thor too, because I, Thor Ragnarok, Rock. <laughs> Thor as well. I say that's three. yeah, three, yeah, right? Three. And I, we forget about two because we want to. Another for me, uh, Valkyrie, Tessa Thompson. Yes. By the way, um, Janelle, Janelle's music video that came out two oh, weeks really? ago. Oh yeah, Janelle Monae. Yes. Yeah. It was good. That it had a nice and little Prince vibe, and what I found out is. She, before Prince passed away, she was she, she was working with Prince mm -hmm. for this album. So I, oh, as soon as I heard that track, I was like, it's got a Prince vibe to it. So, so because we, saw Tessa, I was like, oh shit! Yeah. But so here, here's my question, just going off on that real quick. Yeah. Um, so, total sidetrack. So total sidetrack. But because, you know that in us. So because I, I complained about in the past about how Valkyrie's by um, sexuality has been was cut out, and I was really mm -hmm. disappointed. And blah, yeah. blah blah blah. Um, do you think that that was that was Janelle's way of saying "fuck you"? I don't care about my sexuality, and her and Tessa are really together because I really hope so. Oh, that would be so. I That's really, I, I, really know, I feel like I got that she was bisexual in the movie, or or or. But the or, thing or, is, is, I I got I made that connection when she was talking about her love and she lost everything. I got that. I was, I, but I understand what you're saying. That well, you didn't did, have did, a, did you already know it. before? No, no, okay. no, no, no. I got it from the context of the movie. So yeah. I feel like the context was there, but it was. And, uh, they didn't it push was, it too they didn't much. Push a lot. I, yeah, I, but I, I, I got it. I felt it. I, they could have done more. Yeah, they could have done more. I, I, but they I, did I definitely it. felt it. Yeah, okay. yeah. But okay. I want more, and that's what I'm hoping in the bonus cut. You know, you just want to see a smooch. FYI, no, I, I just don't. I just don't want bisexuality to constantly be cut out of every film. That it's, Seriously, you know? and that's yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Um, because you brought Janelle Monae up. Django Jane is my track right now. If you haven't heard Django uh, Jane, I, I, that's my track I, I, right I, I now. Just, I, just I love that track it. with with um with uh, um Tessa Thompson. I mm -hmm. forgot the name of that track. I love that track. The whole okay. cop Janelle Monae's new album mm -hmm. is gonna be fire. How, how's it go? What the the Django Jane? Yeah. Oh, she's rapping on it. Okay. So and I my, I can't bring out my rap. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, you, you wanna know? We'll hold back. We'll hold back. We'll hold back. She she is one of the just just one skin. Oh, she kills. Man, she got she, mad rap skills, yo. She she okay. got mad. Oh, everything, everything skills. Beautiful girls. Girls are total package. She, Ebony, you're lucky. She, you're, all, you're so all, lucky. all those, all those pants. Girl, mm. how'd, you wear, mm. how'd you wear those clothes? Please tell me. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just stopped we had a moment. Now. We had a moment. All right. <laughs> Janelle's fine. <laughs> Anyways, um, back out. You've already seen it, um, but they we're are re-releasing it. The Dark Crystal, Jim Henson. You're it's familiar with Dark Crystal. And it's, it's coming, coming to theaters. theaters. So they they're coming to theaters and they release it on Blu-ray DVD again. Uh, Labyrinth oh, is also okay. coming to theaters too, guys. The re-release. The re-release. Re yeah. Okay. Cool. cool, cool. Are y'all familiar with Dark Crystal? Do I need to do the synopsis on that? Uh, do y'all know it? I do. I love Dark yeah. Crystal. If if you haven't seen it too, like Robot Chicken's uh, rap to it is fantastic. So if you if you want to see a really fun par parody, Robot Chicken does a good rap. Okay. So Dark Crystal, you did see it on there. You've probably seen it. It's it's a movie that's just being released. Jim so Henson, I'm not going to do re-releases. Jim Henson. Jim Henson. Um, this was up for an award uh, for the Oscars, and I saw it, and I, I enjoyed it, and I think a lot of people raved about it as well. It was in their top five of picks. Mm -hmm. Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig, uh, director who should have been nominated. Um, let's just say that uh, more female directors need to be nominated because they are amazing as well and doing good stuff. But it's a coming-age tale set in 2002 Sacramento, centers on Christine McPherson, played by Soris Ronan, uh, an eccentric teenager who prefers to go by the name Lady Bird. Uh, over the course of her senior year of high school, Lady Bird deals with the pangs of first love and cautions whether her mother... She was, mother... she was for director. She was nominated for director. Oh, at the Oscars? Yeah, uh, Lady Bird, But yeah. remember there was that whole thing, though, at the uh, Globes that no, she, she wasn't... Oh, oh, sorry, yes, at the Globes she wasn't. No, at, at the Oscars it was listed yeah. that there are yeah. a whole bunch of guys and Greta. That, yeah. that was at the Oscars. finally showed her love, though, which was yeah. dope. They, but... I, I was recalling that whole scene at Globes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm sorry, Globes, <laughs> yes. There, were, there ain't none. Again, shout out to Natalie Portman. I love you, girl. Um... Uh, her mother's played by Laurie Metcalf, who you love from Roseanne. And uh, FYI, Roseanne's coming back, people. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, because yeah. she's Republican. And she's anyway. super fucking Trump. So. I, I, she's, I don't think she's fucking him. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> So I, just, I, can't, I don't I even want to imagine that you just you made that whenever you say that things like that amid, images starts to pop in the head. I'm a very visual person. Why did you do that? No, I'm sorry. no but I, again, Lauren Lewis, Lawrence McDonald will let you down. Yeah, I'm, except I'm, in a stand. I'm not trying to let you down. That's the only no, time but I, you, you know what? I think it. I think it is good 
to actually have a look into that mindset. And I think that is something that Roseanne will probably showcase. We're, you know, we're, you know we're getting off. And, I'm and it's, like, it's like, okay, what is the mindset? Because there's some sa- there are some sane people who voted for I mean, he doesn't get elected without some sane people voting for And it's just like, why? What happened? What can we do to make you not make that decision? And I think looking into it is helpful. I- I agree. I agree. That, I'm with that, that I'm is with my you. point. Not that I agree. I'm just saying, True. if we can figure out how to get you to change your fucking mind, I'm <laughs> down for a Roseanne where there are Trump supporters. That's my opinion. So, going back to Lady Bird, because I know Bird. you got, she has so much written on her face right now. <laughs> Lady Bird uh, was a great film. It, you know, it was a real uh, a situation between a mother and a daughter that kind of disagree and disagree. I, I should it was a pretty good film. Okay. Pretty good film. I, there were some moments in it, but probably because I was a little tired and mm-hmm. I was doing a whole marathon of these films in preparation to vote. Oh, yeah. So, check out Lady Bird. It's out on Blu ray DVD. Um, also, out uh, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Uh, stars uh, John Krasinski, James Badgedale, and Pablo Schreiber. Uh, it's about the the nonfiction. It was a nonfiction book written by journalist Mitchell Zukoff mm-hmm. with the with the annex, annex security team. The film depicts the harrowing true story of the attack on the U.S. Embassy uh, mm-hmm. outpost in Benghazi, Libya, on September 11th, 2012, which killed four Americans, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens. Um, when you movie. retell stories, true stories, and yeah. and being that I have worked in the government and stuff like that it's kind of difficult for me to kind of talk and think on things like this I haven't seen it I've and it's, it's interesting I, I've seen it it was a, it was a good you did uh, see it yeah I, I did see it it was a good movie and um, I think it's an interesting story uh, it's hard because anything that like that that comes the, out gets very slants. politicized yeah. so you don't yeah. know it, like what you know if there was a leaning one way yeah, or the exactly. other um, and then I think the director tried to do a good job of just kind of telling it down the middle but you know you don't know you don't know for sure. So um, I saw the movie. I thought John did a great job. In That's it. the one thing I want like, to ask you on it because I know the, him as a comedic actor. Yeah. It's weird seeing him do an action. No, nah, he's, he's great. He, he, he did a great job um, in that role. Uh, really believable, really heartfelt, and it makes you. Um, it makes me uh, excited because he isn't he supposed to be in like some like a new um, franchise. I don't. I know he wants to get into no, like, some I'm thinking more of like Zach, I'm thinking of Zachary Levi. Yeah, uh, okay. but I think Chris but, is on that same I think, path but, too. Yeah, he's but I, I think he's good. You know, he bolts up. You know, kind of beef up like that's, I am. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Minus the, the gut. Uh, I, I think you do a job, good job. But uh, yeah, the movie was great. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought the acting was great in it. Um, yeah, there, there it is. So if you don't want to buy it, go to Redbox. FYI, that's my tip, people. Redbox. Shout out. Which we would love to have as a sponsor, by the way. By the way, Redbox FYI. and Movie Pass. And Movie Pass. Pass. And, yes. Pass. and Cinemark. Shout out to JoeCarabelle.com. Also, okay. Regal and AMC. You know, it's okay about Regal, but AMC. <laughs> All right, what do we have coming out in gaming, Actually, Heather? I, 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 well, these are probably... you're the biggest gamer I know. Tabletop. I was, I was, I was like, on the tabletop. Uh, you like that? Tabletop. Tabletop. <laughs> tabletop. I'm so white. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what do we got? All right, so we could kind of do this a little bit fast because none of us are ever gamers. So like Sometimes. Actually, sometimes we, when we have time. Yeah, so the first one now. is conveniently named Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, it's for Xbox and PS, and so the experience, we, yeah, we had there, me, had ya. What was yeah, that? Yeah. She just spoke a What if we did the rest of it talking because like that, and then people will be thinking, like, is my computer messed up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PS, by the way, is PlayStation. FYI. Experience all three episodes of Life is Strange Before the Storm, Standard Edition, and follow Chloe on her newest journey. The game takes place three years before the original Life is Strange. Apparently there was an original Life is Strange. Yes. And it features multiple endings for a unique cho- um, choice in... Oh, so it's like kind of like, a, what is the book, um, the... Uh, Choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. That's kind of yeah. fun. I like uh, Joe Batman. I'm sorry. By the I way, there's Batman, coming, your own there are there are some in your comic books. Oh, yeah, they're bringing them back, right? They're, they've had some. There's actually one where you can choose your own uh, adventure zombie apocalypse, Ooh. which is so much fun. Mm. Um, all right. I loved my Choose Your Adventure book. I, I, awesome cover have, by Neil Adams. I'll never forget it. Sorry. I don't care about Neil Adams. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Screw you, man. Um, oh. I love when she just drops these nuggets. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so that's what that is. It's got a bonus pack and everything. So Life is Strange Before the Storm is out. 
Uh, this is one that I I know that like everyone knows, and the next one, but man. Okay. Final Fantasy XV, the Royal Edition. Gear up for the epic battles with Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition First Person Mode. Offers a unique look as you explore the rich scenery, and actually it's super pretty, so that makes sense. It is a pretty looking game. Um, I haven't played it, but it, it looks good. Featuring yeah. all Ladies season pass content, yeah, uh, per, it, the Royal Edition provides more adventure and excitement through every turn. So in other words, if you've already bought it, Buy it again yeah. because everyone buys everything well, that's Final Fantasy. The last fa Final Fantasy apparently was terrible and oh, people like oh, yeah. panned it like a uh, lot, like well, by a lot. It was the one where they're like a rock band or some. Oh, some I think I saw that. Yeah, 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 it was like traveling around and like people were really confused about like what the <laughs> fuck is this. Yeah, there's stories. Oh. I, I I've never played a Final Fantasy. I played it way back loopy. in the day, and they're loopy and crazy yeah. and wild. And there's a little. They got some diehard fans powered. though. People yeah, really dig that franchise. That, so I'm not hating. Yeah. Uh, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hating, but I'm not into it at any way. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. To the point of vitriol. <laughs> what else we got? Deep down in my soul. Okay, Scribble Not sh um, Showdown for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PS. Um, Challenge friends and family to head to head competitions with Scribble Knots. It's Scribble Knots. I've only played it a, a little bit. I downloaded the app. I didn't play it they too much, but they look so games. cute. I just didn't have enough time. Mm. I, I like Is Scribble it a fun Knots. game? It is, a, it is a fun game. It's, it's really good to play. So, I like the little vinyl toys. I, they they yeah, look so cute. So there's 25. It's actually doing the same thing that the other ones did, um, or other one, or however many there are. So Scribble Knots is really good if you have a family. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's fun to interact okay. with as a family. So okay. it's, I would say that it's good for that. Um, uh, for us lonely spinsters like myself. <laughs> play Tetris. Play, yeah, right? <laughs> TT Isle, Isle of Man, Ridge of the... Right, wow, right on the edge. I said that wrong. TT Isle of Man, Titty? right... TT? Titty. 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 Titty right on the edge. I'm trying to ride it as a titty. <laughs> Heather Hurt here trying to run the game. What are we talking about here, Heather? You really are trying to bring in the bisexuality into yeah, all I, I, aspects guys, of I'm, media. I'm, I am super gay. Get on um, that titty. Get on that titty. <laughs> Follow 38 miles of the most grueling oh, circuit known to man. It's a racing in, game. Yeah, it's an Isle of Man race. The legendary course is known for its dangerous excitement and the amount of skill needed. I'm not. I'm just not saying TT anymore. Um, Ultra realism lets you conquer the course, uh, and that's so. It's a racing game. Okay. I've always been kind of a that weird that they would name the curves. a game. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's weird that they name a game TT. <laughs> it is, is it TT? It says, it's, TT Isle of Man. Yeah. Wow. You want to see what? Isle of Man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get that until you made me think about it. Talking about fucking Trump and then TT is Isle. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> wow. So what else we got, Heather? Bravo Team, a PlayStation 4 Gotta exclusive. Gotta be a war game. It's, it's a VR game. Defend an, an Eastern Europe, of course, yeah, an Eastern course. European nation mm -hmm. from possible destruction. Uh, this digital shooter game features single player and co op modes for versatile playing Ooh. options. Each choice made in the game results in a different scenario. Mm. I suggest after you watch 13 hours, you buy that. Man. Then you want to like relive 13 hours, yeah. you buy oh, Bravo Team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you guys played Fortnite? Is that a, is that a thing? You guys, Fortnite? It, what yeah, is that? It's like a... Is it like, console? Yeah, computer? Yeah, console, computer, everything. Okay. Everyone plays. Everyone just runs around. It's like multi... Uh, what you call it? Um, what is it? Like free roaming kind of shooting game. Open world. To, oh, yes, open, open world. Open world shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah, but you build teams, build walls, build cities, Ooh. and then you get a team. And it is apparently everyone's playing this game okay. for like hours, like 14, 15 hours a day. I thought everybody's playing Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Um, I think it's the same. That's concept. another kind of same. I think it's the same concept. concept. Open but world Fortnite game is like shooter. taking it even better. Over. All right, yeah. ra random reboot. The reboot trailer from Netflix. Did y'all see it? No. Not yet. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. That's a next week, right? What is reboot? Oh, we'll watch it next week. No, I'm sorry. I'm not, not excited. Right That's the, a game. The, the '90s. The '90s digital. Oh. The, like the really good show, like the first digital animation series. Never watched it. I'm familiar. I quit. Now, <laughs> it's nine. Nine. at least I watch Mary Poppins. Now, now look oh who's disappointing. Oh shit, we are gonna. Oh man, we get a snow day. We're driving home in snow. Oh shit. Well, let's get to what's happening before in we're snowed right in now, at the before we're Not that that would be bad. Uh, yeah. Well, we'd have lots to say, there's already snow, so we might want to make this really quick. All right, All right. I will make this. FYI. Wow, there's a lot of snow there. All right, cool. No more FYIs. Let's get to it. <laughs> Coming into theaters now, theater near you. What am I a doing this weekend? Wrinkle in time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ava DuVernay 
Ava, Ava, Duvernay. Ava Duvernay stars Storm um, with uh, or Ava no. Duvernay directed um, and then stars Storm Storm Reed, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Reese Weatherspoon, Mindy Kaling. Should be amazing. This is me um, this weekend at Wrinkle of Time. After the the dis- intersectional fucking cast, y'all. After the disappearance of her scientist father, three peculiar beings send May, Captain her Kirk. brother, and her Captain friend Kirk. to space in order to find him. So it should be really, really interesting to see this movie. Ava Duvernay is amazing. Apparently. She she edited it right across the way from uh, Black Panther, yes. and they were just giving high fives back to each other, like we about to shut down the game with these. We are <laughs> right so like, kill two thousand eighteen. You know, um, so I'm really excited to see. I'm really excited to see what it does in the theater as well. I'm saying one and two, top two films for the next couple of weekends would be dope. I, I know be that, Black Panther: Wrinkle in Time. Yeah, I, I, know, I, know, this, I know this is so. I'm gonna go this is so, this Hell is yeah. so, I, I honestly wish that they did them further apart. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people who spent all of their money on Black Panther. That's true. Which is totally cool. But it's one of those where it's like, I, they should have done a little it's longer. Not com- I didn't know it was coming out this week. I did not it, either. It, I did it, not com- either. it completely I gotta buy tickets right now. Yeah. I need to go fucking do that. Why am I here yeah, right now? I know. Oh, well, it's, it's, no, it's a come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I actually am terrible at stuff. So okay, okay. If you're doing okay. anything this weekend, go see Wrinkle in Time. And go help. There's a whole bunch of uh, uh, GoFundMes for kids who, to get kids who are uh, underprivileged kids to see Sweet. Wrinkle in Time. Yeah. Please go look up this. I just want to see Mindy Kaling kind of waddle. Oh, I know. I love her. so cute. Oh, Mindy. It's got such a great oh, oh, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling. It, it oh my god. Great. It should be great. I can't wait. Oprah's like the fairy godmother of yes. the world. We love Anyways, you. Uh, next movie coming to theaters is uh, The Strangers Pray at Night, uh, sequel to The Strangers. Um, I guess strange it. people doing strange things. Horror film. I'm a strange. family a family it's staying strange. in a secluded mobile home park uh, for the night are visited by three mass psychopaths to test their, their every limit. Okay. That's, That's really up. Uh, John S. Roberts um, um, directed Christina Hendricks, Bailey Madison, Martin Hendricks, and, uh, and yeah, Emma Bellamy uh, star in this movie. Uh, slasher film. It's good. It should be interesting, crazy. So I thought the the first one was kind of interesting, but uh, let's move on. Uh, we're in a bunch of snow, and it, it looks like a hurricane. <laughs> so it's fitting that the next movie. It's is, a nor'easter, motherfucker. It's a, Hurricane, the Hurricane Heist. It's an action thriller. Oh, it's the Sue. Oh, this one. Hurricane Heist. I didn't see this trailer. I don't know anything about this. So apparently, the idea is there's a fucking major storm, and people are like, you know, we should do a major storm. Go rob a bank. Let's go rob. It's by the same guys who do Fast and Furious, but it's like Fast and Furious Four. Like it's like in the rain. In the rain. What? I have to watch this trailer. So here's the the synopsis, real quick. One sentence. These attempt a massive heist against the U.S. Treasury as a Category 5 hurricane approaches one of its mint uh, facilities. First of all, the U.S. Treasury is in Philadelphia, and hurricanes don't usually come up that fucking far. So it's... Uh, you know what? No, the movie's going to be great. Relief. It's gonna, I'm suspending relief. It's going to be great. So a Category guys. 5 hurricane in fucking the mint in Florida. No one's going to keep a mint in Florida. You don't keep money. In, you don't keep valuables <laughs> in Florida. All the crazy the, people live in the Bronx or, or Florida. No, Charlamagne the God will tell you that. Breakfast Club. Okay. All right. And then uh, Gringo, which is another. Oh. It's a crime drama. David um, Oluwayo, It's I a think. dark. It's a dark yes. comedy mixed with a uh, white knuckle action drama intrigue. It explores the battle survival for a businessman, Harold Sinica, which Sinica? is David Oyelo. Yes. Uh, uh, Oyelowo. Uh, I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry. I Fantastic. Name. But it's snowy actor. outside. I'm not trying to get snowed in. Uh, when he finds himself crossing the line from law abiding citizen to wanted criminal, um, he battles for survival. Uh, it's, di- it's directed by Nash Edgerton. Uh, his brother, Joel Edgerton, I'm guessing, uh, is in the movie <laughs> Charlie Theron, David Oyelowo, yes. and Thandie like I love. Cat. Yes. Oh, it's got a dope cast. I really want to see this, but I'm curious. It's made by Amazon Studios. If it's already available on Amazon Prime for its Amazon Prime folks, because I thought it was coming direct oh, to Amazon Prime, so I'm curious—is nice. it getting a theater release and an Amazon Prime release? I wonder if it's a limited theater release. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm dying to see it. It looks good, but now, anybody go see it. And now let's time. go to events. Big yeah. time, big time, big time. Events this weekend, Saturday, our sister store, Painted Visions, twentieth. Anniversary! Shout Happy out to my man Chris. Chris. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! We're gonna have sales out the yin yang. Sales is gonna yin-yang. be there. I'm gonna be <laughs> there. We're gonna have some cost of cosplays in the house. Hopefully, come on, people, y'all haven't all responded back to me and our. Hey, cosplayers! Yet. I need you there, people. Cosplayers, if you want to, just reach out to me personally or of course to Pat. We need. 
These are for the kids, guys. We want it. We want them to do have it for pictures. the chillins. Do it for the kids. Do it for the chillins. But for everybody else who's not watching this, on our cosplayers, we hope more of our cosplayers out. But we're gonna have sales at the Yin Yang. We're gonna have an awesome raffle for Fantastic Four issue fifty two. First appearance of Black Panther, people. Come on, y'all. There's oh, also, on. there's also, I, I, the first appearance of Black Panther is super awesome, but the biggest, biggest one we have is Spider-Man number two, like the number, number two. two. Yeah. The first appearance. CGC. CGC. It is a 1.0, but you gotta understand the number two first appearance of Falcon, not Falcon, Vulture. Wow. And signed by. Signed by the man, Stan Lee. Stan motherfucking Lee. Oh people. wow. I'm telling you, you're gonna there's, want it. There's also, but the and of course the last one, which is. Always is good because money is always great. There's also a hundred dollar gift card on it, so raffles are great. Definitely come in. There's going to be sidewalk sales. There's going to be in. Chris never puts his shit on the inside on sale, and almost everything's going to be on sale, guys. I'm telling you, Chris does not do this. You're going to want to be there. We'll be there. Come show your love. Um, also, this Saturday, after you go to Paint Divisions and you're going back to Maryland, shout out to our friends over at Third Eye. Third Eye Games and Hobbies in Annapolis is doing their first cosplay workshop. Uh, session. Uh, they're going to be talking all about Warbler and my pal Saya Cosplay and my home girl Mackie Roll Mackie's Chop Shop. <coughs> Shout out to my girl Mackie. You know I love you. I I, I, I was the uh, guy for her wedding. I uh, I actually married her and Sean. So I, oh, Sean you know, and Mackie. Oh, I was yeah. a, I was her minister. Oh, nice, they have nice. a special place. I love Sean and Mackie. Much love, people. But go check them out. Cosplay Workshop. And if you live down in Richmond, um, I definitely want to go to this Marvel Universe Live Age of Heroes. I went to uh, their thing when they were over here across the street at GMU, um, but they, now they have Guardians as part of their wow. Marvel film, and now with Black Panther out, Mar Black Panther is part of the whole cast. That's amazing. I, I can't wait to see that. I Marvel Universe either. Live. And, uh, you know... Wait, wait, last thing. Uh, I actually have shows coming up. Um, you can see me at The Goat, which is in Clarendon, Arlington, Virginia, uh, right in Clarendon or whatever. The Goat, Wednesday night, every Wednesday, 8 p.m., there's a show. It's hilarious. Funniest comedians in D.C. come out and give us graces with the presence. I'll also be this Saturday. This Saturday. French Brasserie, French Quarter Brasserie in uh, Fairfax, right around the corner from you all. Oh, Right around snap. the corner from Amazing Comics. I'm going to see him again, y'all. Come, come out. Check it out. Hilarious show. Uh, Brittany Carney is going to be the headliner. She's amazing. She's been on Comedy Central, all kinds of stuff. It's a great show put together by John Yeager. Tons of funny comics. That, or not tons. There's a good number of funny comics that are out there. Come out, get some good food, get some good laughs, uh, or go to the Goat uh, every Wednesday, eight yeah. o'clock show. Oh, and I'm also hosting at Union Town, which is in Southeast um, on Thursday, so that's where you can find me. Sweet. Oh, Those you know what? We also gotta say you can find he and I because we just put this on our NRW event uh, list. We are going to be doing elect NRW presents new release Wednesday, Electric Black and Karate. Talking about diversity in pop culture media, and we're gonna have some surprise special guests in the house. Mm. Yes! yes! Awesome Con Friday, room 202A, I think it's in the evening, but go to our uh, event page, you'll see, so you can be there. And on Saturday, um, I also put this out there, we're gonna be doing Totally Awesome Asians again, 2018. I'm gonna have Loy in the house uh, that I met through my man Glenn. Loy is another yeah. amazing comedian. Uh, representing, um, I have uh, Moana McAdams uh, oh! from Burning Spear, fashion designer, comics creator. She's going to be in the house. Bria Lavorna um, from the 501st. She's also an amazing uh, writer, podcaster. Uh, she's going to be in the house. Um, who else do I have? Uh, Arthur Kwan Lee, amazing fine artist. Uh, he's going to be in the house. Uh, J. Mark Asinto from Gamer's Guide, who's also part of New Release Wednesday. He's doing our gaming show and some other upcoming stuff we have coming up soon. Uh, he's going to be in the house. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be there. And Oh, uh, it's um, amazing. You know what I'm saying? Either. So much cool I stuff. Be there. Check us out. NRW, Heather, Painted Visions, uh, as well as Amazing Comic Shop. She runs all of that. Her info's on the screen. Glenn Lawrence McDonald, Mac Genie25. You can follow him. I put it on the screen. I'm Patrick. Boom, it's all there. It's on the screen. Do that. And we're gonna go be safe because it's about to be, snow. It's like serious storm. Like, yeah. Y'all be safe, guys. Deuces, we love y'all. Cut.